wanted to do a little video on um, the uh, Bafang BBSHD mid-drive bike motor. So this motor attaches to uh, a bottom bracket. In this case, it's a fat tire bike. And so it's a 100 millimeter uh, bottom bracket. Um, so it's a great little setup. It provides uh, really a lot of um, adjustability, turning an old bike into a new electric bike, or um, hacking into with a small computer program that you can download so that you can adjust the, uh, the draw of the amps. So it's interesting that um, when you get this, you think, oh wow, the manufacturer says I can go up to 30 amps. But really, just some words of wisdom from someone who's made a few mistakes with this unit, that um, 30 amps is a lot, like depending on your um, your application. So I wanted to say a few words about whether or not your bike can actually take that amount of power, or if you need to leave it at um, what you sold it, maybe what you bought the the unit. Maybe you bought it at 15 amps, or maybe you bought it at 20 amps. So that's a difference of uh, say 700 watts to 1500 watts. So that's huge. It's it's uh, almost double um, the power. Um, in application, of course, there's wear and tear, so it's not going to be quite double in, in application. But um, So you have to think about whether or not your drivetrain can take it, whether or not you're using uh, what type of derailleur, or you're going to go a single speed type setup with uh, internally geared hub, or what you're going to do. So can your derailleur, your shifting system, really take that amount of power with these mid-drives that are coming out? especially the BBS HD, because guys, they actually hack it and they can put even more than 15, 1600 watts in it. Some guys are putting two and 3000 through it. So it's pretty incredible what you can do with this. But can your bike actually take it? So from experience, I just want to show you what happened to my hub that I was using. So I was using um, the original hub motor as just a regular hub and putting my freewheel right on it. So this is a 500 watt nominal, 850 watt uh, peak output hub motor from 8Fung, which, which is pretty much from Bafang. It's the same company, just under a different label. So the danger of that, though, I put on um, 4,000 kilometers, over 4,000 kilometers with this motor. Then I disengaged it and just used it as a hub once I got my BBS HD, and I've put that much mileage on the BBS HD using this as the hub under all that torque. And plus for our business, we tow heavy uh, bike trailers. So our trailers get as heavy as 300 pounds. Plus I'm 200, I'm a big guy, I'm 235 pounds um, when I'm not working out. And uh, that's, a, that's a lot of uh, weight to move around. So unfortunately, I blew out the cover. If you see these six holes around the unit, so those six holes are fine, except the cover that goes on that, the actual freewheel is attached to that aluminum cover. You think it's pretty, it's pretty thick, but this is what happened. So here's the cover, the insider, and if you can see, it sheared off perfectly, circular, sheared off the cap that attaches to the freewheel. And here's the freewheel. So I change out my freewheel uh, maybe every uh, four to six months uh, because of the wear and tear, all that high torque and uh, the towing power. So one day I'm just uh, full throttle. I was actually popping a few wheelies um, because with this granny gear, it's incredible. I can just full throttle and pop wheelies on flat ground. That's how powerful the BBS HD is with a big dude on it. It's, it's so much fun. But anyways. So I'm, I'm, I'm just cruising, popping a few wheelies, and all of a sudden the motor just max RPMs peaks out and I'm slowing down. So I look down, this is spinning inside of this. So unfortunately, I fell victim to uh, trigger happy wheelie popping. So do not uh, overestimate, or sorry, underestimate the power of a BBS HD mid-drive um, when you hack it and put uh, 20, 25, even 30 or more amps through it. So now I'm sourcing out this cover. I'm actually having um, another hub built. It's um, a Sturmy Archer, fat tire specific, internally geared three-speed hub. So that's, that's my solution. But for resale value, I have to source out 
and find this cover. Um, so I have a few leads for sure that I'm checking up on, but um, do not uh, underestimate what a drivetrain can do to your uh, mid, your uh, what a mid drive can do to your drivetrain, and be ready to uh, learn uh, some bike mechanics. Because when you take these bikes to uh, these aftermarket fast, powerful e-bikes to a bike shop, even a friendly bike shop, they might be charging you a bit more to work on the bike because of that abnormally high wear and tear on your bicycle. So again, that's my setup, and I'm adjusting things. Of, um, I'm actually getting a, a few frames, experimenting with a few frames and stuff like that to see um, a better fit for this motor. So don't underestimate the wear that a, a Bafang BBSHD will have on your drivetrain. And we go through train chains quite often. We change out our our uh, brake pads once a month in peak season because that's how much um, that's how uh, that's how fast we go and that's how much cargo we carry. So we change out our brakes often, um, and that all comes all that acceleration comes from this. Of course, I'm pedaling all the time. I never just throttle only. I love to pedal. So it's a bike. I'm going to pedal it. Just some words of wisdom from uh, a guy who's made a mistake and having fun doing it. <laughs>